Hello, I'm Dr. Steven Cianti, director of the Cianti Prostate Center in Sarasota, Florida, and director of Focal Therapy Services for Halo Diagnostics. Today, I want to talk to you about the HIFRA procedure and why training and experience is so critically important to successful outcomes. You know, I got started with HIFU uh, almost 19 years ago when I really saw my first procedure. And over the years, I've had the opportunity to be involved with um, training uh, hundreds of physicians, initially offshore when we didn't have the ability to do this in the United States, but since 2015, uh, working uh, as a leader in the field to help other urologists get good outcomes with uh, this revolutionary technology. Now remember, HIFU is one of the workhorses we have today for focal therapy. It really is the most versatile tool I have for treating our prostate cancer patients in a precise and targeted way. Of course, we sometimes will use cryotherapy. Tulsa Pro is a great procedure for large prostates and tumors with anterior lesions. We now have a focal laser ablation program, but the workhorse really is HIFU, high intensity focused ultrasound. Now, there's several improvements, several modifications, advancements in technique that have occurred. And this is really where uh, we've been able to get better outcomes with less side effects. And so let's just take a minute and talk about the outcomes, then we'll talk about training. So outcomes require, you know, a, a good amount of energy, sufficient energy to the tumor. It's called maximizing dose to the target. If you want to kill the cancer, you got to get a lot of energy on the cancer. If you want to minimize or prevent side effects, you got to keep energy off of the important structures like the urethra, the bladder neck, the external sphincter, and the nerve bundles. If we can keep energy off of those areas, our patients do beautifully. We've learned how to do that over the last 10 to 15 years. So some of the techniques that I use include using the MRI fused or integrated to the ultrasound on every single HIFU procedure. If I want to make sure I'm killing the target, I've got to know where the target is. I've got to be able to see it. And so I use MRI fusion, marrying the MRI images to the ultrasound images on the Sonoblate treatment platform. And now when I'm designing that treatment, I know exactly where the worst part of the cancer is so that I can make sure that I apply significant energy treatment over that tumor region. Now without MRI fusion, I'm blind. It's a random treatment, just treating a block of tissue. So I think MRI fusion has been an incredibly important advance. Secondly, protecting the urethra. To protect the urethra, we've got to keep it cold and we got to keep the ultrasound energy from focusing on the urethra. So if too much heat is on the urethra, we learned this 15 years ago, it can cause severe scarring or a stricture to the urethra and that can block urinary function and men can end up with really a very severe blockage problem after this procedure. So to do this safely, we've got to keep energy off the urethra and we got to keep the urethra cold. I use a urethra cooling circuit to protect the urethra as well as keeping energy off of it. Thirdly, we want to be able to really modulate, adjust the power so that we can adjust the power higher where the tumor is and lower next to critical structures. And finally, one of the important concepts that's evolved is what we call dose escalation. That is increasing the thermal dose, the energy dose on that cancer. You can only do that if you know exactly where the cancer is. Again, going back to why MRI fusion is important. So here's what I'm seeing out there. I'm seeing a lot of excitement with urologists to offer HIFU to their patients. But here's what it takes. It takes a physician to be dedicated, to go through a training program, go through proper you know, supervision and proctoring, and to learn these techniques. Unfortunately, here's what we're seeing. We're seeing doctors are so excited about getting started, they're shortcutting some of the training. They're not really learning the advanced techniques. There's really not um, a lot of supervision. And we're seeing really some bad outcomes that are starting to show up around the country. So what I would say, if you're a patient and you're considering HIFU, experience matters. Really important. New physicians, 
may be getting some of this experience, but here's the questions you need to ask. How many procedures have you done? Where did you get your training? Are you going to use MRI guidance to the procedure? Are you going to protect the urethra with a cooling circuit? Are you going to escalate the dose? Are you going to modulate the energies? If they can't answer those questions, please find another high food doctor or really you should do something else to get an excellent outcome. Those things are critically important. So HIFA is a fantastic procedure. There's been tremendous improvements over the years, but take advantage of this procedure and all the improvements, what we've learned, you need to select an experienced physician. I've been doing this now for almost 19 years, several thousand procedures. We pride ourselves on the fact that every one of our patients is carefully monitored and there's going to be some patients with occurrences that's cancer. Cancers can recur, but knowing how to take care of that is critically important for our patients. So please do your due diligence, do your homework. If you'd like to get a consultation as to candidacy about whether or not you qualify for HIFU, whether you're a good candidate, whether it fits your disease, please call us. The Cianti Prostate Center, you can find us online at ciantiprostatecenter.com.